It's back! Metro Parks of Butler County and our partners present the 2021 Crazy Cardboard Regatta. Today I'll walk you through how to build a cardboard boat. I created my boat using just a few simple supplies, but keep in mind that I've only made a model, whereas regatta competitors must create boats that fit at least one person for the races. Step one is to measure and then measure again. You want to start by creating the bottom and sides of your boat. I've gone for a rectangular base with points on both ends but the shape of your boat is totally up to you. What shape do you think will perform best? And of course, the next step is going to be to cut out your shapes. Manipulating the cardboard might be more challenging than it seems. For my boat, I chose to double layer the bottom by cutting out two pieces and connecting them with tape around the seams. Regatta rules state that tapes or other adhesives may be used only at the seams, not as a wrap, so be cautious of this. I continued to use the tape only along the seams as I connected each side piece to my base. You'll see I used each piece individually and put a piece of tape on both the outside and the inside of the boat to hold it in place. And here is the finished product of that process. Tape only along the seams but it won't do to have wobbly sides on your boat. So again, just along the seams, I've used tape on the inside and outside to connect each of those together. And with that, we have a boat. Now a basic boat is all you need to be successful in the race, but I think we can add a little bit of pizzazz. Using water soluble materials like cardboard or other forms of paper, I've added a little something there. What do you think this boat will become? Hmm, adding a few more decorations and we have a duck. Now our duck is missing a little bit of paint. As you paint your boat, here's my setup here. Be sure to use one part paint and be aware of how your paint may affect the environment. Many paints leave oils or residues behind in the water and washable or tempura paints may wash right off your boat. Ensure that you're not using any types of metals, either for structure or binding. You wanna make sure your boaters are safe. Also make sure that there's no use of styrofoams or other flotation devices that would give your boat an unfair advantage or you may be disqualified. And after all the hard work you've poured into creating your masterpiece, that is the last thing that we want to see for you guys. Always refer back to the regatta rules to make sure that your boat is in compliance and is fair for all other competitors who are competing that day. As I begin to put some finishing touches on our duck boat here, the only thing he might get disqualified for is being such a handsome duck. And here we have it, the big reveal of Duck Duck Boat. Let your creativity shine. What might you create? The opportunities are endless. We'll look forward to seeing you at the Crazy Cardboard Regatta, hosted at Voice of America Metro Park on Saturday, September 11th, 2021. To register, please visit www.yourmetroparks.net. Make a day of it and join Miami University's SVRA for their 9-11 5K walk run. In the meantime, this little boat will be hiding somewhere in one of your metro parks of Butler County. Take a look at this picture and try to piece together the clues of where he might be hiding. If you can find him, snap a selfie with him and share it on social media with hashtag crazy cardboard regatta. You can also email your photo to programs at yourmetroparks.net to be entered into a drawing to win a free boat registration. Are you up to the challenge? Give it a try and we'll see you all on Saturday, September 11th for the Crazy Cardboard Regatta.